Hey, my beautiful Scorpios, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and of course, Cross Watchers, welcome to your May 2022 General Love Tarot Reading. I hope everyone is doing well. I am so excited to be doing your reading today, Scorpio, and I am sending you all the very best energy and love as we get into this. So as I begin the shuffle, I just want to quickly remind you that this reading may resonate with you through mid-June. This is also a general reading, so it may or may not resonate. Please take what does and leave the rest. If it doesn't happen to resonate at all, please do not try to force it. Instead, be sure to check out the readings for your other signs or the signs of the person that's on your mind. Also, please feel free to swap the roles. I could be talking about you or your person because I am simply reading energies. If you would like to follow me over to the extended after this, Scorpio, the link for that will be in the description box below, but keep watching at the end. I'm going to give you guys a bit of a sneak peek of that extended as well as go over what will be included in that extended. But enough of me talking here. Let's get into this. We're going to start off by pulling some oracle cards just to grab the overall theme and energy for you for the month as well as the energies coming toward you. And then we're going to dive deep with tarot. If this reading happens to resonate, please let me know below. I do read all of my comments, Scorpio, and would love to just hear how these messages are resonating for you and fitting into your life. But enough of me talking, as I said, let's get into this. Overall theme and energy, please, for my collective, Scorpio collective, please. Financial and material changes, okay? So we do have rest and rejuvenate at the bottom of the deck. So I am sensing that for some of you, you could be going through very big career shifts at this time. Maybe your person is, or something in the 3D around you is transforming. Whatever this is, there may be a bit of a mental overload. You may be taking some time to yourself, or once again, maybe this is your person, but someone may be going through a, a 3D shift, and maybe it's not you know, financially, but it could just be materially, you know, anything in the 3D world. And if it's not that, then someone could be feeling as though something around them, there's some sort of um, a sense of loss, but not all hope is lost, okay? So there's definitely some conflicting energies for you, Scorpio, but I mean, Scorpios are the main theme Scorpios are the main characters, sorry, during this eclipse season. There are a lot of major letting goes, but also major opportunities coming your way, okay? So there is no need to fear. Embrace the change in Scorpios. You guys know all about it. You guys have been going through constant transformations throughout your life, so this is not new for you. You guys are masters at it. Your dreams need a practical plan, full moon in Taurus. So some of you may have Taurus in your chart, maybe your person does, but that is not necessary. But your dreams need a practical plan. So what I'm getting from this is that you may have big dreams here, but there needs to be some sort of foundation, some grounded footing moving forward. So it's about setting a foundation or a consistent momentum to something that you are desiring. And this could have to do with a partnership, a connection, to really steer forward some sort of change or to navigate through some sense of change, okay? So this is very much the energy of, you know, there's a lot going on around you, but no need to worry, no need to have anxiety because a practical plan is what is going to get you where you need to be, okay, and help you through any sort of shifts, whether that is personally or regarding a, a connection. It's time to release negativity, full moon and Scorpio, so this is your sign, so there may be a lot on your mind, okay? You may be feeling a bit overwhelmed how to get to a particular destination, how to get to a particular place of what to do about a particular situation. But there is definitely this energy of shifting. And again, at this point, there's a very, um, there's this energy of no need to let your mind wander. 
I'm sensing that need to really rest your mind and to release any sort of negativity. Get out of your head, Scorpio. Because once you release this negativity, it is what will be allowing this practical plan to manifest, whether that is actually in the 3D or within your mind so that you have a clear path moving forward. So we're going to be pulling a few more cards here with the Romance Angel Oracle. What's going on for my Scorpios? Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So for some of you, you may be needing to let go of some sort of negative thinking. Wedding. This situation involves marriage. So maybe you are married to this person or this is just simply someone that you really see a future with, Scorpio. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you romantically, makes you more romantically attractive. So there is definitely a sense here that someone, whether it's a connection or an individual, is going through some sort of shift. Okay. 3D changes, whether that's material or financial. There's a need to, whoops, there's <laughs> Let's knock that over. There's a need to stay optimistic here, okay? So I'm sensing that there could be fluctuation in energy. This could be regarding a connection that you are hoping to take to the next level or possibly, uh, you know, become engaged or like I said, you could be married to this person. But someone may be needing, I'm sensing, with some sort of change going on, they may have needed to take a step back. They may have needed to focus on themselves. So you may be feeling like there's some sort of energy shift. Someone may have pulled their energy away. Within a year, for so for some of you, well, this is a general reading. So what this is telling me is that whatever these circumstances are, they will pass. This is temporary. But for some of you, you may have been dealing with some sort of situation here for a year. But at the end of the day, this is saying that all is temporary for now and that things will be shifting. Okay, this is just a time of change. And we do have pause and reflect at the bottom of the deck. So, And we did see that rest and rejuvenate. So there may be a lot of thinking going on, a lot of reflecting but there is definitely a connection where two people care about each other, but I'm sensing that there's some sort of external circumstance that may have come up that is causing some sort of shakiness or instability with someone that you really care about. And now there's a need to integrate some sort of practical plan to move forward, but there's no need to really drown out in any sort of negative thinking or negative thoughts. It's time to release those, stay optimistic, okay? But for now, someone may be very much focused on themselves. But let's see the incoming energies for you, Scorpio. Voyage. So this is beautiful. So there is some sort of journey or adventure that is coming in here it is about the experience there's a lot of lessons to be learned here embracing the voyage embracing where you are going embracing where the universe will be taking you there's some sort of journey or adventure but this is also telling me that there is movement forward there is going to be movement in a situation that may have felt a bit stuck or tangled up okay so I do like this. So Scorpio, we are going to be getting the tarot out now and seeing what is really going on for you. Okay, I'm just going to move these over very quickly. All right, so what is going on for my Scorpio collective? And for some of you, you may live at a distance from this person. There could be some long uh, 
long distance journey here or some sort of traveling may be involved but that is not necessary for some of you you may live near an ocean or a body of water but once again not necessary but let's see what is going on for my scorpio collective everything is pre-shuffled but i'm giving this a quick shuffle sun moon rising and venus please two of pentacles five of wands so there may be some tension here there there may have been some sort of conflict someone is trying to balance something here trying to possibly make a decision okay seven of swords the empress four of swords so here is this rest and rejuvenation queen of pentacles this is all upright energy though, Scorpio. So I am really, really loving this. I really am. So before we start clarifying Scorpio, let's talk about what I am seeing so far. Scorpio, you are resting or from something. You are resting from something. There's a bit of a time out here. You may have a lot on your mind. But there is a sense of rest and rejuvenation. You just may be a bit focused on yourself. In the past, someone may have been strategizing quietly. I'm not sensing that there is any sort of malicious intent here. Okay, and the reason being is because your person is showing up as the empress. Your person is bringing in abundant, creative, nurturing energy, which just, it, it doesn't line up with the overall energy. Someone is trying to decide, trying to make a decision. Your person is wanting to bring in a very nurturing energy here. But in the past, I'm not going to lie, someone could have gone a bit silent here, may not have been revealing all of the information. But now there's a sense of quietness. And the Five of Wands is telling me that there may have been some sort of conflict in the past or some sort of tension or disagreement or feeling at odds regarding a particular situation. So you may be taking a bit of a time out from that. Okay, but your person is showing up. They're wanting to address it. But what is at the forefront is deciding possibly how to move forward or what to do about a particular situation. Okay. Okay. Because again, someone may have snuck away in the past or they were just quietly strategizing. We do need to clarify this just to get some more information. The Queen of Pentacles is telling me that, and I'm sensing it could be your person, it could be you, but there is a nurturing, stabilizing energy that is really coming in here. A someone who is stepping up to the plate and taking measures to organize, to plan, to nurture. So I really do love that energy. I do feel like this practical plan regarding whatever is going on here is being fulfilled, okay? But no doubt there is definitely some conflict or at least inner tension here that is creating the need to make some sort of decision or put someone in a position where some sort of decision needs to be made, okay? So what I want to do here, Scorpio, is I want to clarify all these cards, get some more information, and then really dive deep and get into this. All right, Scorpio, so let's get into this. If this happens to resonate with you, please let me know below. This may be a bit of a tricky reading. There's a lot of information coming out here, but I am sensing, and you may be currently on this timeline, or this may have already happened, but someone snuck away here. Someone went a bit silent, and this may not have been a committed relationship, okay? You may have been hoping for this. Maybe your person was, take it resonates. But someone 
I'm getting two different things here. So take which one of course resonates. Either someone was just simply showing up as a page and there was a lot of emotional fulfillment here. You two were happy. But at the same time, this person was only showing up as a page and the page is the youngest court card in the deck. So, you know, they may have been showing up in a way that was very, uh, I guess you could say a bit youthful with their emotions. You know, they may have been a bit flirty. This person's definitely creative. You could be dealing with a water sign, but that's not necessary. But this very like youthful, fun, loving energy, but they may not have been providing anything deeper here. And you may have felt like this person was playing some games with you, Scorpio. Okay, you may have felt like they were a bit in and out with their energy. Uh, for some of you, you may have felt or are currently feeling a bit ghosted here. The thing is, is that for some of you and just for some of you, this person may have snuck away to pursue a third party interest just for some of you and you would know about this Scorpio. They may have been offering this Ten of Cups energy elsewhere. They may have pulled their energy away. Now, for some of you, or for others of you, even if this is not a third party situation, and remember, a third party can be a person, place, thing, concept, idea. It doesn't need to even be anything romantic. For some of you, this person could have been only showing up as a page and bringing this sense of injustice because they were they were needing to balance their energy or take their energy elsewhere, especially if this person was dealing with financial changes or material changes or things of that nature, okay? They may have needed to pull their energy away, but it still may have felt like a sense of injustice. Now, this is a general reading, so take what resonates, but whatever happened here, it definitely felt like energy was, was pulled back. Energy was pulled back you may have been wondering if this person was telling you the truth, if you know they were showing up truthfully. But at the same time, there was this happiness, at least until this started to play out. Um, but you may have felt like this person was playing games with you. You may have felt like this person was showing up and at certain points and almost showing you as though they could give you the world, you know, there's may have been some temptation here, you know, a physical attraction. This person may have showed up like they could be your end all be all. But then at the end of the day, they were still showing up as a page and they weren't really showing up with actions that really aligned with their words. So there may have been some, you know, a sense of heartbreak here. But at the end of the day, you were feeling like, you know, there's so much potential. There's happiness. There's wish fulfillment. Okay. And whoever this person was, they were very mesmerizing. They were very, very good with their words. I'm not necessarily straight up sensing that this person is being malicious uh, just because they want to be or maliciousness at all. But I do see energy that it, you know, this energy is showing up as a page. It, it's, it's not as serious and there could be some sabotaging tendencies behind it. And with the seven of pentacles in the reverse, it's like, well, is this person even worth my time here? Because you may have been very interested in them, but looking at the big picture, this person was only showing up as a page. So there may have been a lot of confusion with how this person was showing up energetically. You may have lacked answers, okay? So I do want to pull some oracle cards here just to get some more information about this. Cassette, outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over and over in your head. So you may have been thinking about this a lot, okay? You may have been trying to figure out what this person was doing, why they did it, 
and wondering even the, the intentions of this person, but this person may have also been stuck on outdated thinking and conditioning, doing things in a certain way, showing up in a certain way that may have provided value in the past. But Scorpio, I'm sensing that you're someone who is not going to just deal with games. You know, if, if you feel like someone is playing games with you, you're, you're, you're not gonna deal with it. And I can see this energy from you at this time, heartbroken. Deeply hurt, sad, separation, uh, breakup. Yeah, so someone may have have um, kind of snuck away here, did some injustice. And you may have been thinking about this deeply, replaying things over in your head and possibly even wondering if you were going to hear from them again. We do have separation again at the bottom of the deck. Now, for you, you know, you are healing, okay? You may be spending time with friends. Uh, we also have Aquarius energy popping up here with the star. But I do feel, you know, you are in a bit of a timeout. You are taking a break here. You may be keeping to yourself. For some of you, you may be hoping for healing in this situation, okay? But before we get into this, I want to get into the current energies that you may be dealing with at this time that uh, are very much connected to what we just discussed. But someone is going back and forth wondering, you know, if this is actual betrayal. Wondering, and for some of you, you may have already, you know, settled that this person hurt you. But for many of you, you may be wondering if this is done, if this is it, if this is if you are being ghosted, if this person just played with your heart. And you may be wondering if you need to throw in the towel. So I am sensing some sort of mental conflict, but with this emperor energy showing up, which is Mars energy. So this is Aries energy, but it can also be Capricorn. There is this sense of, I'm not entirely sure what is going on here. I am sad, you know, about what happened. I don't have clarity. But I, I'm sensing that you are looking at the situation and you are picking up that you are replaying things in your head. You're thinking about it. You, you've, you see that this, this situation has sucked your energy dry. Like you are sensing that this has really, really just taken over parts of your mind. And maybe it isn't now, but it may have in the past. And you are just like, I got to shelf this. And you may be figuring out that no matter how much you think about this situation, you're not going to suddenly have this aha moment and have this truth delivered to you on you know, a platter. This would take this person coming in and providing you some answers. And for some of you, you may not be seeking out those answers. You may be focusing on your own inner healing at this time. Okay, I do wanna pull a few cards here. But there's definitely a bit of, of mental conflict. Okay, so this talking. Interested, conversing more, awaited message arrives, text, call, email, hovering. So, yeah, you may be, ooh, you know, stabbed in the back. Okay, yeah. So you did not expect this to happen, paradise. Um... For some of you, you may be talking to other people. You may be trying to move on here, okay? You may be focusing on friends, connecting with others, just focusing on your healing and taking this ace. Because I did ask, you know, why is this five of swords here when I was clarifying and I got the ace of cups in reverse. So you're taking that love inward. You're filling your own cup up. You're doing you. You may be on dating apps or connecting with friends for some of you. And if you are not, you're just focusing on you and bringing in that happy energy back into your life and really just filling your own cup up at this time. Now, the thing here is that there, with this situation, it's, it's a bit different. Like this situation is energetically different from your energy. And I'm sensing that you have decided that you're just going to withdraw from the situation. You may not have all of the answers, but you're going to do you, you, you're going to focus on you. But then there's some sort of question in mind, is this really over? 
you could be dealing with someone who has Aries or Capricorn placements, but you are moving on and someone is wondering, because you still may be waiting for a message from this person, but until you do, you're just doing you. Okay, you, you're definitely feeling the heartbreak. You're feeling, you know, that you were betrayed here, but you are focusing on the expansion of your own personal happiness. And so that's why I think, you know, you're, you're moving on here. You're doing your best and withdrawing, but someone may be thinking about coming back in and bringing some sort of nurturing energy in. Because someone here, there, there's conflict going on. There's conflict and tension. Someone is not ready yet to step it up. And someone's ego could be getting in the way with this page of wands in the reverse. But with the hangman in the reverse, Pisces energy in the tower, someone is, there's a sense of wanting to release this tower moment, the potential of a tower moment. But at the same time, there's also this energy of not sh not sure if they truly want to throw in the towel here. I'm not sensing that this is you though, because you are very much focused on doing you and healing from this and finding your own inner uh, happiness and fulfillment. Like I said, you may be connecting with someone else at this time, someone new. That's just for some of you. But for, for others of you, sure, you may be waiting to hear from this person for some sort of closure or answers, but until then, you're just focusing on yourself. But someone is wondering if they really want to close this door out. Self-indulgence, self-worth, time to heal, shadow work, yeah. Engagement ring. Someone needs to get over their selfish ways here. And someone needs to figure out what it is that they want. Because Scorpio, I feel like someone put you in a very tough, confusing situation here. That is just really not fair. Soulmate. Divine timing. Offer. And wow, so this could be your soulmate, this could be your twin flame. Um, the divine timing, so there's some sort of offer that may be coming into the picture here. Um, for some of you, just for some of you, you just may be off doing your own thing, you may have met someone new and you're just moving forward with that, and that's great. You know, if that's you, that's wonderful, and I'm very happy for you, but if you are watching this because you are, you know, the person on your mind is the one who hurt you here and you are part of the collective who is waiting for a message here or waiting to see what will come of this. Your person, there's a bit of conflict. They're not ready. They may be worried about, it's, it's so, this is, if this resonates, please let me know because this person, they're a bit selfish. They're focused on themselves at this time. But this person needs to deal with a lot of their own shadow work. This person knows, is there some sort of divine timing with an offer, but it's been placed on hold here. And it could be because of this conflict, possibly wanting to allow this conflict to simmer out or just allow some time between you two to heal from whatever happened here because it's going to be on a different spectrum for all of you but there may have been some chaos you know there's a sense of just needing some sort of break here but someone is not happy and it's almost the sense that this person showing your person showing up as the empress here Nine of Cups in the reverse, Five of Cups, and King of Wands. There is emotional unfulfillment, and there is sadness with the Five of Cups. And that is driving someone here to, to desire to take some sort of action and to step into some, some sort of initiation. 
and to do so in a nurturing, abundant way. And when I asked, you know, why, why is this person unhappy? And you know, what's really going on here, six of pentacles in the reverse, this is telling me that it may be because you pulled your energy away. And I know that you may be frustrated to hear that for some of you because this person may have hurt you, but take what resonates. But this person may be seeing you off doing your own thing, being happy, or you just pulled your energy back and they don't know what you're up to and they're they're concluding for themselves that you are doing your own thing and that you've moved on and there is a sense of unhappiness here. Because whatever happened here, and even if you were the one who decided to walk away, Scorpio, it was for a good reason, okay? You felt like you needed to heal from something. Basically, I'm sensing here, Scorpio, that you felt, this person may have put you in a lot of positions within the connection where you felt like, yes, you cared about this person, but you felt frustrated in the connection. You may have felt like this person was kind of knocking you down in ways, or you may have been feeling as though this person really, really kind of hit your self-confidence. You may have felt like this person was in the cycles of self-sabotage. They may have been afraid of, you know, fear. Uh, they may have been afraid, sorry, of like uh, intimacy and so forth. There may have been some jealousy here on someone's end. And even though there is definitely this, you know, this soul connection, you may be wanting to make healthier choices in your love life. And so this may be whether this person walked away or you walked away, You've just been deciding that you want to really create a path for yourself that is in alignment for you, that is really healthy. You know, you want to make healthy choices in love and in life. And so this is why you are just focused on being happier, self-love, self-care, surrounding yourself with energies and people and connections and, and things that are showing up for you as you are showing up for them. And there's a sense of unfairness on your person's end because I'm sensing that your person down here, regardless of who left, this person may have been trying to move on. But when this ending actually happened and it came to the healing aspect of it, this person, I'm sensing that there's some sort of issues with cl like closure issues or moving on. This person is struggling with actually moving on in this transition of this ending, this separation. And it's coming down to feeling unfair. So this person could feel like you're moving on. And once again, maybe you are moving on. Maybe you aren't, but it's their perception here that they feel like something is unfair. Because for some of you, they may just be seeing your highlight reel on social media. But whatever it is, you felt like you needed to just do you. You needed to focus on your own happiness. And this person is not happy that either you've moved on or they're just... This person may have thought that they may have been able to get over you. But in time, there's some sort of offer. Some card just popped over, I feel like. I not see it again. Third party. Divine feminine. So there could be some sort of divine masculine. Oh my goodness. Winter. 
metamorphosis. Purge. So communication at the bottom of the deck. So what I am sensing here is there was there was a, a third party here, a person, place, thing, concept, idea, anything. Could have been a romantic partner. It could be you currently that you've moved on and you've met with someone here and they're seeing that and they're just, they're very sad about it. Or Scorpio, it is that there was some sort of third party situation that came up on this person's end and now they're struggling with choices that they made because with twin flame and divine masculine and feminine popping out, this could definitely be a third party situation. So either on your end or this person's end, but someone went cold here. This could have happened during the winter or maybe some something during the winter, something significant happened. Uh, whether you have birthdays during the winter or the last time you saw them, talked to them, or maybe when this third party situation happened, but it created some sort of change, okay? And there was something here that needed to be purged. This could have been when you, when someone purged something from their life. But whatever it was, there was some sort of third-party interference. And if it was on this person's end, you may have just decided to go your own way. Do you focus on healing, making new connections and so forth? And now this person is regretting possibly this third-party involvement and they're not able to move on. Or you are in this third party and you you are you've moved on maybe for some of you you are the one with the third party take what resonates but now maybe they're seeing you that you've moved on regardless of what happened in the past and they're feeling sad about it okay so there's definitely this energy because you're wanting to make healthy choices here you don't want to be in a relationship where you feel like you're frustrated in the relationship someone's not putting in effort you're feeling not feeling good enough you know understanding you want to feel understood you want to have mutual understanding you want to feel like you are appreciated yeah and so there may have been you may have seen that things were very cyclical possibly with this person like you know we're going around in circles here you may have started to gain a true understanding of this connection. And when you were put at a crossroads with a choice to make, whether to go towards this person or just away from this person, whether you're going to wait, you may have just decided, no, I'm just gonna focus on me, I'm gonna heal, I'm not gonna go back towards this person or I'm not gonna wait on them. And so maybe in the past you had waited on them. You, you, know, you gave them the benefit of the doubt if this was cyclical. But then you just decided, no, I'm just, I'm just going to move on here. And whether or not you are, you know, in another connection at this time, you just focusing on you and this person feeling that energetic shift. I mean, they're feeling it. They're definitely feeling it. Because the thing here is that we're actually going to ask here because I want to know more information. Something is left open here, but with the Hierophant, the King of Cups in the reverse, and the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse, there is still this, this lack of closure that I'm sensing, but I want to know more. This Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Cups. So you may have earth in your chart, maybe your person does, or water. Also Taurus, and then we also have the fixed signs, uh, Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus with the world in the reverse. Oh, okay. Just wanted to pop out. So let's do a few more. Someone is looking at this because I still feel... Okay, I, I see what's going on here. Yeah, this is still a bit left open. Yep, this makes total sense. Material vibrations. Someone is not being summer. 
more card please. I'm in an oracle mood today. I've been playing a lot of oracle cards. Um, there may have been some sort of conclusion in the summer, but that's not necessary. Um, but there is a sense of this stabilizing, secure energy. Now, this could be coming, this could be someone coming in. If you are dealing with an earth sign, um, if you do see action coming toward you or communication from this person this month, someone may be trying to stabilize something and come in and gain some clarity regarding something that felt very left open, where there was a lack of closure. And this may have to do with commitment. Someone may be wanting to know, you know, do you want to work on this? Do you want to make things right? The Hierophant is not only about lessons, but it's also about doing things traditionally in the right way. So it could be about, you know, is this actually over for good? The thing here, though, is that someone may be not necessarily opening up about emotions with the king of uh, cups in the reverse, ten of pentacles in the reverse. This person may feel like a lot of things are falling down around them, but with sunglasses and mask, this person could be still keeping their eye out on you, but not really showing their true feelings and what happened here, especially if this person was the one who cut you off, Scorpio, and hurt you or did some sort of harm to you. You may not even guess that this person is missing you or that they're wanting to come back in they, because they may not be showing this. But at the same time, someone here, and it could be your person, they're looking at the instability in this connection. And with temperance, it's telling me that there is internal balance here, but possibly how to bring some sort of healing and balance to the connection, but still going around in circles and trying to figure out how to do that. Especially if something was concluded in the summer or it felt right to conclude something or leave things as they were, okay? Because for some of you, this person could have just walked away and in that moment or whatever happened between you two, it felt right to them. And eventually you may have just dealt with whatever happened and you felt like you came into your own personal alignment and you may have just started to move on. And now it's the sense that this person's kind of backtracking on whatever decision was made or whatever happened here. They're thinking about possibly coming back in. I don't see any straightforward action yet this person is trying to deal with, this person may be still trying to, to move on from you, okay? But at the same time, there's definitely this, with the Hierophant, it's about doing the right thing and it could have to do with commitment, but with mask and sunglasses, you know, they're, they're looking at the instability and insecure, or inner insecurity, definitely, trying to balance it out within and balance even their mindset trying to figure out what to do here because even if this person did it to themselves, they're having some closure issues and they may not have, um, they may not have expected this. And because within a year, you may have dealt with this, especially with the summer cards from last summer or winter. This may be, this may have been going on. And so it's now this sense of you know, you may have been putting yourself first, focusing on you, your material life, your material world, doing you healing, seeing your friends and so forth, staying optimistic about your love life. And now it's like if this person wants to come back in after so much time, well, they're going to need a practical plan because you're not going to take it too well if this person just kind of reaches out out of nowhere. You might be like, what? What, what do you want? And you, may, you might not even take it seriously. Okay, I do want to know more very quickly just about this voyage card. Queen of Wands. Ooh, Six of Wands. Where are you going? So victoriously. Judgment. Putting the burdens 
down. Yeah. Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So, I mean, this, this could, we're going to take this over to the extended and dive deeper here, but someone here, male or female, there's some sort of wake up call. Okay. There's a change in conscious, um, efforts, a bit of a wake up call here. Someone is really getting out of their head, putting the burdens down and going towards unfinished business to deal with it. But there's definitely some sort of turning point. This could be you moving away from this person, but with this voyage card, especially with this going towards the cards, I'm sensing that this person, I don't actually see them taking action towards you, but they're working on something. They're not revealing this but they're in their head, they're working it out. They're, they're trying to figure out what to do here, if they wanna reach back out or not. But with the Hierophant, I'm definitely sensing that this person is getting some sort of, they're dealing with karma. You know, they're being hit here. There are lessons being learned because the Hierophant's a teacher, you know? There may definitely be some lessons here that this person is working through. And for some of you, you may know deep down inside, it's like the sense that you knew this was going to happen or this person would eventually see the mistakes that they made. But no matter what you said to this person or could have said, it was one of those experiences that you just knew this person kind of had to figure it out on their own. And so it's kind of like they don't want to be put in this position of like, oh, you know, I told you so. Because that's what you may be thinking. Like, I, I knew this was going to happen. I told you so. That's just for some of you. Sorry about that, Scorpio. I needed to take a phone call. So we are going to be uh, closing out this reading by uh, pulling a message from your person. And then we're going to be pulling some advice cards. And then we're going to take it over to the extended. Again, if this resonates with you, let me know below. My mind and heart always comes back to you. So as I said, this person is having issues getting over you. And I can't handle your words right now at the bottom of the deck, which goes back to what I was saying. It's almost, gosh, we put so many cards. There was some sort of tension here going back and forth. Like this person wasn't ready uh, to come in. It's almost like they feel like if they reached out and they said something wrong or they like because this person knows that they're feeling the guilt they know what they did was wrong and they may be feeling like you will either reject them or you may say something verbally that they feel like they can't handle because it's just like there's this almost like a sense of embarrassment in a way but like i said before this person needed to figure it out on their own come to their own conclusions and for some of them it may be too late because it looks like you are in a very healing energy you're doing you you're happy and if you're doing good for yourself scorpio at least like if you're not there yet you're going to be okay <laughs> So there's a lot of beautiful energy. I mean, the star, the three of cups, two of cups. I mean, come on. This is beautiful, beautiful energy. So what I want to do now, Scorpio, is we're going to pull um, a card for you, an advice card for you, and we're going to pull one for your person. We're going to read the one for you here. And then over in the extended, you know, if you're interested in diving more into your person, their perspective, and, and things like that. If you're waiting for this person to come back in, we'll dive deep over there. This is getting a bit long for YouTube, uh, but let's, let's grab an advice card for you. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. The Electric Creative Expression. We'll pull one for your person. High Priestess expanding consciousness. So off the bat, there is definitely 
expansion of consciousness and lessons and so forth on your person's end, a uh, clarity. This could be this judgment, this wake up call. Remember your identity. You can do it at the bottom of the deck. So we are going to read the electric for you here and see what this has to say. I've never pulled this card before, so. So it says your creative forces are being activated by your femininity and are ready for expression. This provides empathy and compassion for yourself and others. When, electric, when the electric card appears, it's an indication that you are aligning with your inner feminine capacity to embody love, joy, and peace, which enhances your creativity. Letting go of logic helps you to shift into your heart so you can tap into your creative flow. This ignites your primal power, the real and raw parts of who you are. Making a conscious connection with your intuition enhances your ability to trust your journey. Alignment with the magical mysteries of the universe allows creativity to flow with ease and grace. This card suggests that you focus on unlocking your hidden feminine qualities. Tapping into your emotions and following your feelings helps you integrate with deeper parts of yourself. As you open up to receiving love, it welcomes support from others, including your divine counterpart, who will energetically amplify your capability to access your ancient wisdom. So this is spot on because you are definitely tapping into this creative energy. I mean, the star, the three of cups, the two of cups. You may be working on creative projects at this time, um, but even if you're not, this expansion of your energetic fields and this radiating beautiful energy, it is magnetism. It is magnetic to other people around you. And I'm really sensing that this is, your person is feeling it on an energetic level. They're feeling and sensing that shift. And I feel that you are already in this energy. And if not, then really try to step into that, these creative parts of yourself. And, you know, take what resonates here, male or female, but that creative flow, letting go of logic a bit, tapping into your emotions. Because Four of Swords, you could be, you know, really thinking about a lot, but with the cups, it's like embrace this beautiful inner emotions connect with your emotions a bit and just align as it says with the magical mysteries of the universe which allows creativity to flow with ease and grace and creativity in a ton of ways not only with projects but with your emotions with people with connections with your day-to-day -day life and just infusing your day-to-day -day living with beauty and creativity okay so this is absolutely beautiful. So Scorpio, this is getting a bit long, but I'm very happy for this beautiful energy that you are stepping into, that you are embracing. It looks like a lot of incredible things are coming towards you. If you are turning this person down and you want nothing to do with this person, it looks like new love could be coming your way, okay? So stay open to that. I mean, even in astrology, you've got the North Node in your seventh house transiting. So if you don't know about astrology, that's totally fine. But if you do, then you will know that there's a lot of opportunities coming up for you to really meet, you know, your soulmate or reconnect in a more, uh, I guess you could say in a way that is in more of an authentic alignment and so forth, okay? So there's a lot of beautiful things coming your way with possibly with this person or without whichever way you you know, you take, but we're going to be taking over this to the, to the extended. The link for that is in the description box below. We are going to be exploring your person's intentions, feelings, actions they want to take, things they may want to communicate. We're also going to be taking a look at what you may not know about this person or a situation that you should know, or should at least keep in mind and be aware of. We're going to take a look at the long term, uh, up to the next six months to see, you know, are they going to take action here? You know, they may want to, but will they? Or are they just going to stay on the sidelines and so forth? We're going to also take a look at some deeper guidance and advice, whether or not you are in communication with this person or not. But this extended is really geared towards those who, uh, you know, are looking for guidance 
and possibly to confirm inner, um, you know, your intuition and so forth around certain things regarding this person down here. So that is what we are going to be doing. If anything else comes up along the way, we will dive deep into that. We're going to do what we did here with oracles as well as tarot just to really dive deep and get as much information as we can. Again, the link for that is in the description box below. Just a quick reminder that if you do decide to uh, join me over there, I'm going to put the instructions here up on the screen just in case you have any issues accessing the extended. But I'll quickly walk you through it. Once you go through that process, hit that link and so forth and go uh, through th the process. All you need to do is hit back to merchant or return to merchant. It should take you directly to the reading. If for some reason you have any issues, check your email within 10 minutes and it may literally take up to 10 minutes. You will receive the link to the extended from a third party called Send Owl. And it may literally take up to 10 minutes, like I said, but you can use that link uh, forever until the end of time and never expires. And you can use that link for the first time or even a month from now, if you would like to go back and rewatch the reading. So just wanted to quickly remind you of that just in case you have any issues, but you shouldn't. It's very clear cut. Just hit back to merchant or return to merchant. Uh, but yeah, that is what I have for you. If this did resonate, if you have a moment, please let me know below. I do read all my comments and really do appreciate um, just hearing how these things are fitting into your life, how you are navigating this, you know, your entire experience and so forth. So be sure to comment below whether you are new here or a returning subscriber. Just want to say thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Your support means more to me than you will ever know. So please share, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And that is what I have for you for now, Scorpio. I hope to see you over at the extended. If not, I hope that this reading was able to provide you with enough clarity and insight. And uh, yeah, that is what I have for you for now. And thank you so much, Scorpio. I will see you next time. Bye. To realizing that they're having trouble moving on. But it's almost a sense that they're being pushed back towards you. It may tie to you, but at the same time, they're mirroring you. And seven of swords in the reverse. They're wanting to reveal something to you. Something that may not have been made known before of what it is that they really want. Mirroring again, forgiveness at the bottom of the deck.